Hey, what's up, people? Michael here. If you want to partner your YouTube channel up, hit up the link in the description. Thank you, and stay tuned for the video coming up. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> you think you gave me having a nightmare? It all really happened. Never mind all the blood on a uh, on your mattress. I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh my head! It feels like somebody. That's had to hurt. My brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. That should help my migraine. All right, so we got a lot to do. I think somebody's gonna come soon. We gotta clean these sheets. We got to take some aspirin. We got to cover our wounds. So we might as well, you know, start it up now. That book. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. I can't even pronounce it. That shows the difference in our intellect. Hey, you're listening to KWN 605, and it's now time for the weather flash with Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Peter. My advice for today is very warmly before setting foot outside. It was extremely cold last night. Okay, good for that uh a good old weather report. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired. I'm not trying to. What I'm trying to make you do is get some sheets off your bed. This will hide the blood in case anyone comes. <laughs> oh the laziness. <laughs> Uh, you know, we gotta be quick. Probably should get this blood off my hand. To the bathroom. I let the voicemail get that. Just like in real life, I don't answer phone calls. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> Watch this. Anybody eggs? You're an MMA fighter. <laughs> That's just creepy, bro. Damn. I'm stressed, bro. I'm stressed. Life's hard. I right, saw so our wounds are good. Might run a run the machine, get that blood off our clothes. Oh, I guess nothing's nothing's in it. Might do that uh when I come back. But for right now, go back to the bedroom. Put some clothes on. Get rid of all this evidence. This evidence that they can use this to log away for a very long time. This camera though makes you want to slap somebody slippy silly. Camera though makes you want to slap someone silly though. <clears throat> the beauty of repeating clothes from the day before. Parents, Marcus, and me before the accident. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, this guy's life's just been in turmoil. You know, poor, poor Lucas. He clearly has no woman. Actually, you know, he does. I think we'll find out later. He got his share of, uh, you know, females. You have no messages. Okay. Nobody wants to email me. Okay, we're on the internet. This is the weather. The world. Probably some real stuff in here. But cool. What else can we do? I think that was it. 
he clearly got a Mac. That Mac life. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I just to make sure. Yeah, I guess we're done with the bedroom. Gotta find out where he left all that bloody ass clothes. And quickly, I do hope. Where did I put the clothes? The clothes. Let's go back in the bathroom real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Madden Juke. Front page news. Yep. Massacre in East End oh, everything's just making me depressed. I gotta cut it out. <laughs> committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer is... I don't want to hear that shit, man. They're gonna come after me. <laughs> New York police, please open the door. Uh oh. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Okay, he just found out. Oh, it seems he kind of has some kind of vision. I must be losing my mind. Yeah. Either way, let's get rid of that uh that shirt now that we know where it is. Put that in the washing machine, quick as hell. Oh boy. It's a pretty big apartment. If this is New York, it look like you got a one bedroom with a big ass living room. It's gotta be into the thousands. Now you can leave him there and be like, man, I cut myself. Killing somebody. I'm a cold blood murderer. Just straight up be like, I'm the guy you're looking for. <laughs> I wonder if that really works. He's probably like the only murderer or criminal who actually washes their clothes. I don't have to set it. I don't have to turn it on. You sure? All right, whatever, man. Well, maybe we got to go get the bed sheets. Mother. F <laughs> like for real. Bed sheet. Nah, I guess all I had to do was just cover it. I still can't wash it. She was in the kitchen, play some voicemails before they start knocking on my door. Yesterday at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Invisible milk. Well, call me back. So yeah, that's my old girl Tiffany. This morning, my old joint. Seven fifty two. You know. You see they still calling up my line. I'm calling because Guy loves duck soup. <laughs> I thought well, maybe you might want to go together this time. Anyway, give me a call. Milk and water, duck soup, and Chinese. Oh, we are Asian. New York police, please open the door. Oh shit, NYPD. They know they, they've come to arrest me. Oh fuck, I gotta hide the weed. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. Oh crap. I find any evidence linking me to last night? I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. What do I gotta do? What do I got to do? I must insist that you open this door immediately. All my windows are uh, look at the look at the little crow that's still looking at us from uh, you know outside. I'm under a deep, deep genjutsu. I will be forced to knock it down. Chill, bro. Better have a warrant for that. What else? Any more incriminating evidence? You know, just to make sure. 
that we can't run this damn washing machine. Nope. We just put it in there and uh looks like we good to go. Got my arms washed. Bruh! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? What the fuck? Just a second, oh, I'm shit. looking for the keys. What the fuck the keys? Oh shit. Son, this camera. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Don't move. Damn. And that's how my story ends. The neighbors called the cops because they heard shouts coming from my apartment. It didn't take long for them to find evidence of my guilt and link me up to the murder in the restaurant. Now I'll never find out what really happened. As far as the rest of the world is concerned. Yeah. That's what'll happen. Let's let's try that again. A little quicker this time. The heck do you want? Are you Lucas Kane? Bitch, I might be. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh yeah, yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? No, but you know, you're going to anyway. <laughs> Whatever, go ahead. I got nothing to hide. What happened to your wrist, sir? I just told you. <laughs> I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? I'm a little emotional. Don't judge me. I think blood doesn't have a scent. I don't believe. Otherwise, people I smell blood. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you. Yeah, no. pussy ass, pussy ass, please, pussy ass. <laughs> be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Got out of that one smooth. But that ain't. End of that tell yet. Look at the little crow. Alright, so a lot of things we can do in the house. I'm in no condition. Of course. My forearms still hurt. Of course you were. But you know, that'll come later. That activity. I guess when we heal or whatever. Uh who can we give a call? To Marcus? Tiffany? Hello? Hello, Marcus. Lucas. It's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to mom and dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. And it's a tapping in his line. He know better. Yesterday. 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Cool. Let's go meet Marcus. Call me back. And we know we won't call her back. This morning, 
at 752- We don't call them hoes. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. 